I'm like, and she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't know. Just that it just vomited blood or blood coming out of my because I didn't have to go like it was just coming out. Like, so after that my mom is called she's like okay um let's wait for it to slow down and then we can go to the doctor um because i wasn't feeling pain anywhere guys nothing nada zero so from there uh, my grandma was still alive at the time she comes to the bathroom the, the like i was fine i thought i was fine you know but the look on her face she was like they said you want to go here you know you know that face as if like I was dying and I was like no actually I'm not supposed to be fine I'm dying the look on my mom my grandma's face says you are dying so I was like now I started panicking I'm like mm -mm -mm. no she dying girl is dying so I'm like yo okay no that's what I mean. so yeah this is it this is it anyway fast forward we try going to the doctor um, we go to the doctor, get to the doctor, doctor doesn't see anything, doesn't say anything. And he's like, no, you know what, I'm going to give you um, antibiotics and give you an injection. Um, go to the, to the nearest hospital tomorrow to take tests. I'm like, sure. Great. But I'm panicking because, well, girl, we don't know what's going on and they're not making, they didn't diagnosed me with anything but I just started having blood and blood coming out of my mouth like that that is crazy so okay so I, we go home the following day I go to the hospital um then close by hospital Kuluso. it's a public hospital we go there um I take the 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 Swashela test so I had to take out Swashela find it somewhere in my chest and take it out okay shut and I think seven days later, I go back to get my results. Woo! When I get there, the lady is like, hi, how are you? And I'm like, is it that bird? Now they give me a mask. You see, now that we're going through Corona times, having a mask on your face is so normal. But when they gave me that mask, I was like, ah! I'm dead, I'm dead. I am sick with some disease that, cause immediately when I entered the house, they're like, when I entered the, uh, the clinic, the, that room, the, they were like, please put in a mask. And I'm like, why? Am I, am I dying? Am I dying? What's going on? You know? And from there, they're talking to me with the mask on. And my, I also have a mask on. I'm like, shh. Whatever I am sick with is very serious. They don't want to get it. That's why they're putting they me, saying me, I must put a mask. Because, dude. So fine, from there they tell me, okay, they said you're gonna take an HIV test. Oh, they're like, okay, so you're going to um your results came back TB positive, so you have TB. Oh, oh like, huh? like I felt weak, I wanted to cry, because like they can't just tell you you, you got TB and you don't want to cry because we have seen so many people dying from TB, you know. And they asked me, does anyone at home have TB? I'm like, nah. And they're like, I will, like, anyone else that you may have been in contact with? I'm like, not anyone I know for sure that they have TB. And like, okay, so because um, when people, most times when people test for TB, they are usually HIV positive. I'm like, hey! Oh, that's all. <laughs> I have HIV positive. So if I, if I were to, if I were to hit, they have, I've tested positive for TB. What will stop me from testing positive for HIV? I was still a virgin at the time. Yes, in my matric, I was still a virgin. But now the problem is, where did I get the TB? So if, if maybe I was born with this TB. So if I was born with TB, that means I could be born with HIV. I was, ooh, guys. So that lady, I'm like, yo, shit, 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 shit. But she says, but you're not gonna test that. You're not gonna take the test here in the hospital. You're gonna take a test at a clinic where you're gonna be collecting your TB medication from. I'm like, oh! So I'm gonna go home not knowing whether I'm HIV or not. Yeah, next. I go home, tell my mom, okay, mommy, I'm um, TB positive. Shut. And then from there, I tell her, okay, on a certain day, I'm supposed to go to the clinic and to the clinic at, um, at Zakani, because I said I was gonna go to the to Zakani one, because it was the nearest for me. I went to that. So the day before, it was 
I whenever you the whenever that day was, it was on a Monday where I had to go to clean. So on Sunday we're cooking in the kitchen, and then I tell my mom like, yo, mommy, like guess what? Who's saying I'm gonna take an HIV test? I'm so scared. What if I have it? And she was like, you're not born with HIV. So if you have HIV, that means you got it from wherever we got it from. I did not you know, I, I, I was not thinking about having sex. Oh, okay, I was thinking about having I was thinking about sex, but I didn't think of doing it because I didn't have someone stable to do it with. But at the time, I'm like, dude, this is not about me having sex or not. It's about me when I'm HIV or not, you know? And my mom was really brushing me off because, like, well, I think she knew that I was not having sex. I don't know. You know, so I'm like, girl, this is not the time. I'm scared. So my mom was really discouraging me from being scared because you, you know that you don't have sex, so why are you scared? You know? And like she brushed it off like that, and I was just like, girl is not helping me right now. She's worried about me having sex, and I'm worried about me having HIV because I got TB anyway without you know being in contact with someone TB. So sharply, I the following day I go to school. No, I go to the clinic on a Monday, start at the clinic with my uniform on and I go there. When I get there, they still give me this mask. And I'm like, yo, yeah. And then the lady takes, um, gives me an HIV test. I was shit scared. Yo, I was so scared, guys. It was so real. Like, that five minutes of waiting, yo, it was really scary. So I got took the test and it came out negative and I was like, thank Jesus. And she was like, do you want it? I was like, can I have the HIV test? And she was like, why? I'm like, I want to show my mom. And she was like, okay. Even when I was doing the HIV test, she was like, who's going to tell if you're positive? I was like, I'm going to tell my mom. And she was like, okay. You can check the boyfriend. She's like, no. And she was like, okay. Shop. Then I'm like, okay, shop. So get the TB treatment. She starts explaining that. I have to take the treatment each and every day at that specific time. So they're also like a, like HIV um, treatment where you're supposed to take it. If you take it at nine in the morning, every day at nine you take it at nine, not nine ten minutes later. No. So with TB treatment, I had to do the same thing. Um, I had to take it. I I set myself to say I'll take it uh, half past seven because at that time I'm definitely I'm almost ready to go to school. Shop. and then I, I i took it in the morning and at night so at half past seven in the morning i take it at half past seven in the evening i take it so that's what i started doing went back to school now i know that i'm, I'm tb positive hiv negative so i go there and tell my mom because my mom was already teaching at my school um i tell her okay i came back positive with tb negative with hiv we can do this together. We all in this together. Yeah. Oh, we go off we go. And she started telling my tissues, you know, to say, listen, he has TV. She's going through the treatment, and I was I was glad to not to be the one telling them that. So with the treatment they gave me, so it, it was with caution that this person is sickly. And then um, there was a day at school where I couldn't stop coughing. So that, that day was the only day I vomited blood or blood came out of my mouth, whatever it is. But the next thing that happened in one of the days, um, it was a six months treatment that took it, finished it. And then, but within the month, I don't remember which month it was, um, I, uh, I was coughing in class. It was a geography class, I remember, in period. I remember clearly, me and Mudika was um, my geography teacher. So I started coughing. It was after break. I started coughing. Okay. And then I keep on coughing. I kept on. Yo, guys, I coughed that day. And I was like, knowing my, if my TB state has. And she was like, yo, this is Go outside. I cough, I cough, I cough. And then it comes down. After five minutes, it comes down. I come into class. Immediately when I step into the class, I start coughing again. I coughed and coughed and coughed and coughed. And I have to get out. Like I stood outside for half of the period, and that was my period. Period. If that happened during math period, I was gonna be the happiest girl. But unfortunately, it happened during geography, one of the subjects I loved, you know. So that is my TV story, guys. Um, I also wanna say, guys, you know what? You don't know everything. So checking up on yourself 
is important. Um, and knowing that my immune system, because one of the ladies, the nurses told me all that you could have got it from someone had, having this having a split on the floor and you were passing by, so the air from that split came into your stomach, into your body, and because your immune system uh, is not that strong, that's why you were able to catch it. So now, knowing from there that I have a very weak immune system that even when I'm passing by and there's a split that is TV, it can get to me, I was like, what? Corona, Corona, Corona. I, if Corona doesn't want you to have a very weak system, immune system, what if my immune system is still, what if? But thank God, I did not have a very bad, I feel like at this point, everyone has had all the symptoms of Corona and we have all diagnosed ourselves with Corona, so, you know. But anyway, um, I was scared of it. I was scared of Corona because I was thinking, if me not young taller, I'm dead. But gracefully, I was not diagnosed with Corona. The grand cash up or end. Yeah. But let's stay safe, guys. Keep on keeping safe. Corona is out there and it's real. If you were just passing by and you happen to come across me, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. And guys, um, please comment on whether you've been diagnosed with a disease. Uh, and just let's talk about it because really closing down most of the time kills most of us. You know, you some things you may be like, that has happened to me, but I didn't go to the doctor, so I don't know. Maybe you also once had that and you didn't go to the doctor, so therefore you don't know if you had TB, you were having TB. And this thing, if it's not treated, it kills, you know. Sometimes even some people find out about it and try to get treatment, but if it's too late, there's nothing they can do. You just have to run through the cost of going to your grave. So it's not a laughing matter, it's not funny. It is serious. So let's take care of ourselves, guys. And happy Heritage Month!